Hello and welcome to the weekend weather from the Met Office. Now, last weekend was really quite mild. This weekend, a very, very different feel. Throughout the weekend, it's going to feel cold. Now, there could be some sunshine around, but there's not going to be much of it around on Saturday. Saturday's forecast is rather overcast, with most places seeing rain and drizzle. A bit of snow is possible, but chiefly over the hills across Scotland and northern England. However, if you're after something a little bit drier, Sunday offers something a little bit brighter for most of us, a bit of sunshine. But throughout the weekend, it stays cold and it could get especially cold on Sunday night. More on that in just a moment, though. First of all, let's get through Friday nights, which uh, for most of us will be on the chilly side, thanks to largely clear skies. After a fine Friday, it will get pretty cold pretty quickly on Friday evening. A few showers, parts of East Anglia, and some rain pushing into Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. Now, I've stopped it there at 10 o'clock. Let's put the temperatures on, because if you're heading out on uh, Friday night, it is going to be on the cold side. Let's run through the rest of the night now and see we won't get a great deal of change. The showers may fade from East Anglia. The rain, though, will trickle its way into West Wales and parts of South West England. That will actually help to keep the temperatures up here. So by the time we get to Saturday morning, we're up at five or six degrees in the west. Whereas in the east, well, we will see some places start the weekend with a touch of frost. Now, this band of rain is from a weather front. Let's take a look at the uh, bigger picture now through the course of Friday night and Saturday. This wriggling weather front, instead of moving right across the UK, it kind of stagnates. It becomes very slow moving. Now, down to the southwest of the UK, there's a big area of high pressure, which is trying to build in. But there's low pressure to the north, and that's driving this weather front, but only very slowly. If we run through the sequence, you just watch how this weather front only very slowly staggers its way across the UK. Now that adds some complications because if I show you the temperature profile, you can see that the air is very cold across the UK. So this weather front's gonna be providing some rain, but the potential still, with it being so cold, for that rain, at least in some places, to turn to snow. So, Saturday's forecast is predominantly overcast. Some brightness early on in the east, but also there will be a touch of frost here. And it will get a bit brighter across the west later on, but also the wind's picking up. For most, as I say, Saturday under that weather front is grey and it's damp. And we will see a little bit of snow, but chiefly at this stage it looks like over the hills of northern England and Scotland. For most it's just rain and drizzle and Let's put the temperatures on. It's going to feel cold. We're looking at just four or five degrees under that band of rain. Then, on Saturday night, I think we'll start to see that weather front gradually pulling away. Now, as things get a bit colder on Saturday night, we could just see a little bit more snow in places. But the main theme for Sunday is this ridge of high pressure starting to build in, and that will be turning things drier. But notice the isobars squeezing together there. If we put the winds on now, those winds will be coming in from the east or the northeast. And that means, let's put the temperatures on, bringing down some very cold air across the UK. Those blue colours suggesting that the temperatures will, if anything, fall further, especially on Sunday night. What does that mean for the weather on Sunday? Well, for most places, as I said, compared to Saturday, it's a lot drier and brighter a little bit of drizzle here and there and it may stay quite grey across the southeast but some sunshine likely across Scotland and Northern Ireland but wherever you are it is going to feel on the cold side these are the maximum temperatures on Sunday four or five degrees again so feeling colder although for many it'll be at least a little bit brighter compared to Saturday those temperatures will fall further as we go through Saturday, Sunday evening into Sunday night and next week it looks like things are staying particularly cold with an increased risk of seeing some snow early next week. That is something we'll be keeping a close eye on. We'll keep you updated and there's always more on our website.